was making a few million dollars every year, gave some money to people that needed it, donated some money, bought a Sefer Torah. Throughout all of this time, keeping barely any mitzvot, I think any mitzvah I kept was by luck. I believed in God, but in my own version of it, which is like most people in today's world. We believe that there's a creator because we need him when we're sick, when we're poor, when we're hungry. But the stuff that he said, I don't know that much about. I don't have that much time for it. I'm very busy, God. I need to work. I need to make money. People think that God has done everything, can do everything, created the heaven and the earth and everything in between. But when it comes to Parnasa, oh, he's limited. I need to help him. That's why they work on Shabbat. That's why they work overtime. That's why they spend their life chasing money and not even giving Hashem the opportunity to show you what He can do. Hashem tells you one major thing. I will help you as much as you believe in me. If you believe in me 100%, then I will give you 100% of your panasa. Either way, everything He gives you. But when I say He's going to give you 100% of your panasa, so it'll give you 100% of your panasa without working. Money will show up. How? I live like that and I have no idea. Avrichim that are in kolels live just like that for many years. Like my Rav in Yerushalayim has been living like that for his whole life. He still can't explain how he pays the bills and when he goes to the supermarket for Shabbat, he doesn't even look at the price and he buys everything in sight. Who's going to pay for it? That's Hashem's problem. I do what He wants. He says, if you do my will, if you make my will into your will, in Pirkei Avot, you make my will into your will, you make His will into your will, He'll make your will into His will. He says it. So, He says, okay, this is what I'm going to do. That's who I learned it from. It works.